What's up everyone? Today we're at the Diefen Bunker, Canada's Cold War Museum. But it wasn't always a museum. This used to be a shelter for top government officials in case of a nuclear war. Let's check it out. The Diefen Bunker was commissioned by Prime Minister John Diefenbaker in 1959 as part of his government's reaction to escalating tensions in the Cold War. It was built between 1959 and 1961 and remained in continuous operation until 1994. Look at the thickness of this door. This place is built so solid it can withstand a 5 megaton nuclear blast from just 1.8 kilometers away. As you navigate your way through the bunker, you'll see a mix of actual equipment used during the Cold War era and recreated workspaces and living quarters. It really is a blast from the past. This here is a model of the bunker and it is absolutely huge. It's 100,000 square feet over four floors underground. <laughs> These are so cool. This is what computers used to look like and back then this was all top secret. This was new technology. Right now we're in the cafeteria. Can you imagine this place is stocked full of fresh food and produce and it could have fed 535 people for 30 days in case of a lockdown. This place is huge. This is the Bank of Canada vault. Look at the size of this door. The Diefen Bunker is open year-round and you can book your tickets online. Come check it out.